But here's to our other top story now. Protests over the, pen, the planned release of Chris Hani's killer continue. The tripartite alliance is demonstrating against Janusz Valus's imminent release on parole. The SACP, Kasatu and ANC are marching to the Kosi Mampuru prison in Pretoria where Valus is behind bars. He's due to be released tomorrow. Valus um, was stabbed by a fellow inmate yesterday. Let's go to ENC reporter Puleli Chwiti Jones. We find him in the capital with the tripartite alliance. Uh, Pule, um, I see uh, the crowd there is swelling up. I wonder if you've been able to get any reaction from leaders there about yesterday's uh, very, uh, you know, unfortunate developments from inside Kosi Mampuru. Yeah, definitely, Maseko. In fact, in the morning, we spoke to the ANC chairperson, Panyazali Sufi. From the onwards, we spoke to the SACP leader, Solema Paila, as well, who basically shared their views around um, that parole and the release of Janus Walush, who's due to be released on parole tomorrow. However, this process being hampered by the fact that um, today comes just a day or a few hours after we learned that Mr. Walus was, of course, um, allegedly stabbed by a housing inmate at the correctional services and therefore being rushed to um, hospital uh, where we believe he's in a stable condition. But the message is quite clear. The Chapital Alliance is saying that they are going to oppose this move to have Wallace be released on parole by approaching um, the courts. We understand they are currently with their legal team um, in terms of finding the correct ways as to how they can interject this process and ensure that um, this whole you know, move of having Wallace released on parole isn't on good faith and that the, the, the process is delayed once again. Mm. And uh, Bule, in terms of the ordinary uh, people that are joining the tripartite alliance there today, besides the leadership like your Banyazali Sufi, etc., how did they feel about what happened yesterday? We saw a lot of reaction on social media uh, from ordinary South Africans about um, Valus's stabbing yesterday. But what are ordinary people there on the ground with you uh, telling you about um, you know, what happened yesterday? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, just ordinary people here um, are sharing the same views as the ANC and the Trappington Alliance. Um, and they're saying that they are with what the national leadership is saying about this. But I'm just going to speak to um, Umam Nomvulam Kwenyan. Thank you very much for joining us. If it's late, I got one. No, I saw you <laughs> Thank you. Um, you are with the Trappington Alliance as well. Some of the comrades from SACP and Kosatu. What's the message today? The message today is about uh, the demand for an inquest on the killing of Krisani because the truth has not yet uh, been revealed. Secondly, it's in solidarity with the family of Krisani as victims, who we believe that uh, they should have also been a victim perpetrator facilitation process that affords the victim's family to understand the reasons behind the decisions that have been taken. Also, it's to condemn what has happened at the gravesite and, and in some parts such as in Krugerslop, where you see other elements of uh, racists that live in our country trying to take us back. We, we want to defend our hard-won democracy and, and reconciliation has to come from all sides. Mm. Vela, Umam Dimpo was very torn apart with uh, the decision that was taken um, from the Constitutional Court uh, on, on the unanimous decision to have Mr. Wallace released on parole and she came across as very emotional and heartbroken. But most importantly, what we understand is that Mr. Wallace is due to be released on parole tomorrow. However, we understand as well that he was stabbed in prison as well. What's your remark on that? What's your reaction on that? Well, we, we had, just like anyone uh, that who was stabbed in, in prison yesterday, after having spent all these years in prison, but then we take what Correctional Services has said. Um, and, and one of the things that we, we also have to, to deal with is to say we, we understand where Aus Dimpo comes from. Mm. Comrade Dimpo has every reason to, re to react in that particular manner because, as I've said, just like in any other parolee process, there must be a victim and perpetrator kind of uh, facilitation so that you prepare even the victim of uh, the eventual pronouncement, and that has not actually happened. We, we've also made a, a, a reflection on our own uh, 
uh, pieces of law, uh, laws that uh, uh, necessitated and justified this release. And hence, going to the conference itself is to look at uh, some of the laws that uh, create these kind of challenges, because there might also be a precedence on all other cases where a parolee, upon just being a, a criminal, upon just being convicted, will immediately from day one have a countdown of uh, being granted a parole. Mm. It is those things that we need to look at because it's a precedence that may take us back as a, as a country. When we speak about going to conference, you think you may also need to speak to other parties because these are some of the you know decisions that may need to be discussed robustly and particularly if ever amended in Parliament as well, but with the support of other parties? Of course, our NC caucus has already come out even today that there must be a snap debate in Parliament and uh, also review of uh, legislation, which is again a responsibility of Parliament and talking to different parties. We've seen other parties also speaking out on this matter and and we, we, we are quite humbled that uh, there are many parties that also have taken a stance on this matter. The SACP says they will be seeking different avenues to challenge the parole of Mr. Wallace. Do you support them? Yes, the ANC itself in the last NWC uh, got a briefing even from uh, our own comrade Jeff Hadebe about uh, processes of even going to the AU's uh, Court of uh, Human Rights and Justice to deal with this matter. So that then it, it is just not left uh, 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 at, at the stage where it is. We, we need. Chris Ani died for this freedom. Uh, the date of our election was accelerated through his blood. Um, and he was an internationalist. He loved life. He, he, he was a, a, a person who wanted peace and justice. And, and, and hence, uh, we, we do believe that uh, it is a correct path and the SACP is on the right path, together with the work that Comrade Jeff is now being assigned to do. I mean, they've come out, like, you know, come out scathing, criticizing the judiciary as well, to say that uh, Mr. Walus was not supposed to be released on parole, even though we do understand, and as according to his lawyer, that he was eligible for parole. That's exactly what I'm saying, that um, the, the, there are gaps in our system. Uh, um, you can't say because he was teaching people karate um, and that he was quiet in prison, therefore he qualifies. Uh, the killing of Chris Ani was, 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 was something that required intense engagement, robust engagement, uh, so that we understand that other than Clive Debbie Lewis and, and, and Walus, who was behind this and why did it happen? To say because he was a communist, um, we, we need to, to get more than that. So seeking for answers. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. That's Umam Nongvulam Konyana joining us right now. Maybe let me just speak to some of the people who were here in a bit. Kopalero Tlalo said, why are you here today? And the Tlalo said, why are you here today? And the Tlalo said, why are Okay. We are here today. Ne? I don't get that guy out of the room. Walus. Walus must just be behind, stay behind bars because he robbed us a hero. Chris Hani was our hero. Nakana Feloro family here in no. They are head as much as we are head. You understand? So he must just stay behind bars. We are distributing to say to, to, to the whole nation where it shows where uh, black people can come in their numbers to show where there's a democracy. In this uh, uh, moment, Kakatabaya ka, released a, 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 a person who made that a Christian. It was during apartheid. So this is a scar to say, no, enough is enough. We cannot allow such a person to room around and say he's in a good behavior. So they're taking us back to apartheid era. A lot has happened. People had killed people. They're still in jail. So what is special about this guy? So we are feeling that the system has failed uh, 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 the, 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 the South Africans, especially us as young coming leaders in the organization. Yeah, but, but it was supposed to be a debate. Remember, Krisani is one person who fought for the blacks. So the Hanabanung ANC is most struggling because we are not uniting and we believe that if the system was created to protect black people, we are not supposed to be here. Because justice needs to be served. It's a remember and remember. But also, ma, 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 
So it, 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 situation whereby a, a hang pile must come back. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Those you. are some of the um, supporters who've rallied behind the Tribal Alliance this afternoon, Masiho. Well, twisted views, I can tell you. Some believe that Mr. Uh, Janus Wallus should remain in prison and that the parole um, you know, decision to have him released be revoked, while his lawyer argues that he's been eligible for parole for quite some time and that the law says he should be granted that parole um, decision or, or move, rather, to have him released. Um, and, of course, this comes just a day after he was allegedly stabbed um, in a prison by his housing inmate and he is currently receiving medical attention. From here onwards, we'll, we'll be um, marching to the correctional services where we'll give, be giving you an update as to what will be transpiring from that particular venue about 15 minutes from here.